Hello everyone, welcome back to Carmine from New York Teaches Photography. How's everybody doing this November 2022? Oh my goodness, the autumn is slowly being pushed out here by winter. The snow up in Buffalo in my home state of New York, they got six feet of snow in one day. Guys up in Buffalo, I hope you're watching YouTube. I hope you're watching my channel. Don't go out there and shovel at least till maybe June. Oh my goodness. It's ridiculous. Okay. Step one. Watch my finger. Go right here. Hit that red square box. That's how you subscribe. No credit card. No cash. Just hit it. And this way you can get all, I've got over 185 photography videos. That's up to today. Imagine what's going to be in the future. Guys, I have so much to give you as far as photography information. I've been a photographer for over 50 years here in New York City. Let's get into it. What am I holding? It feels like a barbell. Oh my goodness, guys. This is the best $99 value you will ever, ever find on the internet. This is the Nikon slash Nikkor autofocus 75 millimeter zoom to 300. Now, pay attention, it's autofocus. The autofocus uses the screw type. In other words, your camera, just like, oops, easy. Just like this camera, this is the D3, okay? You see, you see right here? This camera has an autofocus lens motor. The motor for the focusing is in the camera. That's the kind of camera you need if you want the autofocus to work on this lens. It matches up into the screw hole. Let me get my finger on it correctly. Yeah, right here. It goes in like a screwdriver and it turns and as it turns, it focuses the lens. Now, it also has the uh, contacts here for information back to the camera to set the aperture, etc. Now, this lens is all metal. This lens is as heavy as a Thanksgiving turkey. It weighs, drum roll please, I'm looking at my notes, 30 ounces. This is an 850 gram lens. But this is what I want to tell you. If you're looking for an f1.8 lens in a zoom for $99, not going to happen. Guys, this lens is f4.5 to 5.6. 4.5 to 5.6. Now, why am I bragging about this lens? Well, it's very simple. It's sharper than a knife. This lens, when mounted, on your camera, okay? They will now always mount your lenses this way, okay? Listen to the click. Okay, now it's mounted correctly. This lens is incredibly sharp. Now, as you know, this is a zoom lens. It's a push-pull type lens. I am a proponent of prime lenses because it has less elements. Elements are the pieces of glass all lined up inside the lens. This lens has 13 pieces of glass elements. 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And they're set in 11 groups. Now, this is the exception to my rule about buying prime lenses only. Because back in 1989, when the engineers at Nikon developed this lens in its all metal construction body, they knew 
how to make it sharp at all millimeter lengths from 75 to 300. Now, it's 75 to 300 on your full frame digital cameras or film cameras, right? But DX shooters, Nikon didn't forget about you. If you use this on a DX camera, okay, it's actually a 115 millimeter to a 450. Guys, it's $99. I just went on eBay now. There's like 13 of them on sale from Japan, mint condition, working condition, mint, no fungus, no haze, no scratches. You know, you know, I'm going to show you photographs that I took with this lens in a few seconds at the end of this video, because that's what it's all about. It's all about showing you guys beautiful equipment that won't put you in the poor house. You don't have to rack up thousands of dollars on your credit card for a beautiful lens. Now, let me just make sure I covered everything. Okay. Here's what I wanted to tell you. Let's get into it. It does not have optical image stabilization. This is not a VF vibration, a V, sorry. It's not a VR, a vibration reduction lens. You have to use your skills, proper holding of the lens. Okay. This elbow goes into your rib cage. This hand cradles the camera and the lens in one spot. Then when you're ready to fire, it's a slow, steady squeeze, slow and steady. Make the capture be a surprise. Don't jerk it. Don't jerk it. You just slow and steady. Boom. You take the shot. Now let's keep going. The tripod collar. See that? That's a tripod collar. It's metal, it's built in, and it rotates, okay? If you want to take a vertical shot, see, keep your eye on it, right? If you want to take a horizontal landscape, okay? It's adjustable. It does not remove. That is one thing that has always bugged me since I bought this lens 20 years ago. It does not come off. The tripod collar stays on, however, all of the rough sharp corners have been removed by Nikon. So even when you're cradling it with the tripod collar in your hand, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't get in the way. But if you are thinking that it might be in the way, look what you can do. You bring the tripod collar up, lock it in. And now there's nothing on the bottom to get in your way. The focusing ring is all the way up to the top. It has a limit switch. Now, I always keep it on set on limit because I use this for outdoor photography, not for close-ups. If you put the limit switch on, when it's trying to autofocus, it will go up to 10 feet to infinity. When you have the limit switch off, it'll go from five feet to infinity. So to stop the lens that extra trying to focus at uh, five feet, which I'm not going to use this for something five feet away, Okay, so that's that. Uh, let's keep going. It takes pretty big filters. I have on here a 62 millimeter filter. Okay, it goes here. Uh, let's keep going. Oh, nine blade aperture, nine. They could have been cheap and made it a seven blade aperture, but they added two more. And what does that mean for my bouquet lovers out there? Beautiful, creamy background blur. Now remember, even though this is a not a fast lens, it's 4.5, right? It's an f4.5 when you're shooting at 75 millimeters, but because it's a telephoto, it gives you the perspective for beautiful blurry backgrounds. Gorgeous. Okay, let's keep going, guys. Like I said, the minimum distance is five feet. Eh, so what? You're not using this for macro. You're using this for all around general outdoor photography. Uh, let's see. I told you the price, 90 to $99 right now, today. Mint from Japan. Buy this from Japan. Buy this from a seller that has 100% credibility, no lower than 
and make sure he's a real camera seller. Check his uh, other items for sale. Make sure he's not selling you shoes and socks, okay? Uh, let's keep going. Oh, the lens is made in Japan, all right? Made in Japan. That's quality, and you know what? I have a whole video on why made in Japan matters. Check out that video. Um, okay, distortion. Almost no distortion. Almost no distortion. There's slight distortion at 75 millimeters and slight distortion at 300. It's almost, you can't even perceive it. It's absolutely gorgeous. All right. I think I went through everything I wanted to do. So you know what that means. That means it's time to look at the photographs that I took with this just today in Manhattan. I used it for street photography. Yep, this lens, street photography on this D3. So let's take a look at the photographs I took with this lens and this camera, the Nikon D3, street photography here in Manhattan, okay? We've gone about 11 minutes or so. It's time to look at the photographs, but remember, follow my finger, go right here, hit that red square, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, please comment below. Even if you just want to say happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> All right. Email me guys anytime you want. Black and white photo at AOL.com. I get 40 to 50 emails a week and I answer them all. All your photography based questions. All right, guys, let's get into it. Let's look at the photographs right now that I took with this gorgeous autofocus zoom lens from Nikon. Let's look right now. 